One of the coolest things about being human is that we have absolutely no idea how we got here. And that search for more truth is what I believe gives us the most profound sense of meaning that we can come to encounter whilst we still have air in our lungs, blood in our veins, thoughts in our heads. One of my favorite lines from any book is a quote by Carl Jung, and he wrote, man woke up in a world in which he did not understand. And when I read that, I think whenever you read a book that just keeps coming at you with all these incredible quotes and things, you just mind blown after every page. It took me a long time to kind of figure out what he meant by that. And I put the book down and had, just had to think about it. I don't really think I had a choice. It came back to this idea of spirituality for me and what it really is that we're trying to do and what religion has done for us over the course of of, of millennia. And it has given us this sense of understanding. You know, that's really what I think it is. And it comes down, you can look at it from all different angles, whether it's a through an evolutionary lens of, yes, well, religion is giving us, you know, a sense of connection and we're all sharing a collective truth, which means that we can all trust each other. And we all feel safe. We all know how we're going to act, which is going to help our nervous system. So that's that kind of evolutionarily psychological frame. Uh, Or it's the transcendent frame of, you know, this sense of it's not over when we uh, when the body dies. Or it's perhaps a an idea of trying to figure out these big existential questions together. So coming back to that idea of collectivism and what it means to be human as being one part of the whole. And I think that when you look at these types of videos and you look at what these people are doing, you know, from the outside, it's like these people are just spinning around trying to get out of their heads. I made a video about this not too long ago, that idea that we love to get out of our heads and drugs are just one way of achieving altered states of consciousness. But forcing ourselves into long periods of isolation and seclusion. Uh, Now there's a lot of evidence that the ancient Greeks used to do this in these kind of incubation periods. You know, all of this kind of stuff, what are we doing? We're trying to learn. We're trying to see ourselves from the outside. We're trying to read the label of the glass jar that we have been, you know, incarcerated in almost. Trying to figure things out. This always comes back to the fundamental principle of what it means to be human which I believe is innate curiosity and learning more. And if you can harness that power that is within you of innate curiosity, what does it mean? Well, it means that your life purpose is essentially forged by how many things you can figure out, how many problems you can solve, how much unconscious you can turn conscious, how much unknown can become known. So it's going to be very fear provoking. It's going to be anxiety provoking. It's going to be fun. It's going to be devastating because you're going to hit these dead ends. But it all comes back to that idea of innate curiosity. And that I think my friends is the most important part of being human. Never stop being curious. Bye for now. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, Uh, You are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.